Sorry for the random beginning to an oil change video, but if you'll excuse me, I have to give them this. Okay, so we are due for an oil change on our 2013 Mazda 3. This is the uh, Skyactiv 2 liter, uh, which is also the same engine that's in the Ford Focus. Um, you know, the funny thing about these cars is that it's the same platform as the Maz or the uh, the Ford Focus. However, on the Mazda 3, they have gone through and kind of like rearranged how everything fits in and and uh, you know gave you like a foot of clearance so that you can get the belt in and out in about five minutes, not two hours. Um, so everything is like just how it should be. Whereas when I every time I go to work on my cousin's Focus, you know the fucking belt is right on the frame rail, so you can't even get a ha your hand in there. You have to pull the engine out or something or what, however you get the belt out. And then you can't even change the air filter on the fucking Focus on the Focus on the fucking Focus because they put a non-replaceable air filter that's mounted way down at the bottom. And the mass airflow sensor is at the fucking transmission. Anyways, we got to do an oil change. We're just a bit under 6,000 miles now on it. And this is, we're doing the first oil change. And I also got to do the oil change on my Mazda as well. But for the new one, we're putting OW20 in it. And we got a new filter, 3614. And then for my car, because it's broken in and all new now, and I don't care about the warranty. We're working uh, OW30. <clears throat> there wasn't enough OW20, so I'm not even gonna bother going somewhere else. And same filter. So let's take a look at our oil now and see what it looks like. So, it's just now needing to be changed. So let's, uh, let's see what she looks like when she comes out. Okay, we take these two out over here. It's weird in some ways this car is different than, my, than mine. It's just weird. Freaking weird. Different engine. <laughs> Ow. Okay. The Sky Active engines are definitely a bit different than the, uh, the Ford one. Still get pretty good gas ponds with mine. This car here definitely gets. <laughs> it does get even more. We, we had this car kind of loaded up with, you know, my dad's work tools, and I had a lawnmower engine and my tools back there because we were going to fix a friend's mower. We had myself and my dad, and we were still getting 40 miles to the gallon. Okay, there goes that one. Okay, that one's not so loose. I got the one, that's one over here. Oh yeah, I think it's... Okay, I was mistaken. There are two more push pins on the back of the panel. On the very end there. Oh. All right, where, oh, there's the oil filter. It's on the opposite end. Starter's pretty easy to get to. That's good. Oh, and there's our transmission fill plug. Whew. So I guess you get to it from under here. Oh, and it has a drain plug. Awesome. And it says Mazda on it, so it's not a Ford transmission. That's cool. We can dig it. 
Mazda automatic. Whew. All right, let's uh, pull this guy out of here. Got some dirt in there from going to the beach. Not on the beach, but driving to. Okay, so on the Mazda engine, or the Skyactiv one, they use an Allen key drain plug. And it's an 8, but I think it might be something like a 9 or a, probably closer to a 9 or maybe an SAE. Luckily the oil felt, sorry, luckily the oil filter and drain plug are in the same location so I don't have to move my thing around. I have a towel here ready so I can wipe my hands, my gloves off so I don't smear it on everything. <laughs> kind of have to... It's a little, a little tight. I had to rummage through my dad's tools because I didn't have a an Allen key. Oh yeah, she's dirty. She was a dirty. Find out it takes uh it takes twenty quarts. Mars the tranny. Check this out. They put an access cover for the torque converter. I wonder if it has a drain bolt. <laughs> That'll be uh, awfully nice in Mazda. Huh. My goodness. Alright, we got the bolt back in. Let's do the oil filter. If I can get it off, I might have to do it without gloves on. It's turning. Mazda Tokyo Roco something. All right, so oil filter is different for this car. That's weird. That's what it said in the book. Let's go look it up at uh, online and then go get a different one. Okay, so if you have a Sky Active two liter, you need to buy an oil filter for a Sky Active engine. It's a sixty six oh seven for this particular engine. For the Ford 2 liter on 2011 Mazda 3 is a 3614, so that's eh, kind of retarded, but oh well. Smaller filter though. And this one will go onto my car. I even pre filled it and it's low again. Oh well. It didn't take too much oil out, so I think we'll be fine. Anyways. I just test fitted it, that's where there's oil on the lip, and it does fit, and, it, and the seal is the right now, right one now. Okay, I think we learned something. on there snug we've got our, our drain bolt is on snug I made sure of that and the oil filter is on hands tight 
So now, it's a matter of uh, filling her back up, making sure she runs and check for leaks. And we'll be getting no leaks, which we shouldn't. And then we can uh, go ahead and uh, pull her out and do my car. I'm gonna set you on top of the battery box here. I like these wide mouth jugs or these bottles because they pour out pretty fast. Well, so far we got no drips, no leaks. I just check the dipstick and we are at the correct level. So we're full. Alright. No leaks. Let's go ahead and test her out here. I'm gonna start it. Push on the brake. But no, it's it full. We're in the hatch marks. A little bit over. But um, she's good to go now. <laughs> 